So please stand up. So I was just kidding. Actually, I am not here to give any warm up. I am here to give a talk on running. So please sit down. <laughs> So before I start, let me tell you, this is not a story about a winner and this is not a fat to fit transformation story, now this is a story about someone who sacrificed a lot to become someone. But this was a game changer for me, how a guy who hated running all his life, how he started running and it became a passion. So as a school kid, I was always scared of track and field events, especially running. Because I always considered it uh, for the strong boys and I was very lean. I used to fall sick very often as a kid. It doesn't mean I was not into sports. I follow sports actively. Like any Indian kid, I also play cricket. But running, it was a no-no land for me. So the same thing, the same thing continued uh, in engineering. No affair with running. So basically my affair with running was not love at first sight. After engineering, I went on to MBA. Like most of the engineers who don't know what to do next. No offense to the engineers. Uh, so this incident, it happened during uh, second year of MBA, where I got a Facebook invite for an event to meet one of the known celebrity face of Bollywood, who also happens to be a fitness icon. Now, as a kid, we all might have idolized some of the other superheroes, Superman, Batman, Spider-Man. Do you remember any Indian superheroes? Anyone? Captain Miyam, Shaktiman, yeah. So Shaktiman was the more, uh, most famous one. So before Shaktiman, there was this Captain Miyam, which aired uh, on Durdarshan during the late 90s. The title character was done by Mr. Milin Soman. Uh, anyone know Milin Soman? Yeah, so for girls, uh, he's a heartthrob. <laughs> and uh, for me, he was my uh, childhood superhero. Uh, I idolized him because I thought, as a kid, I thought uh, Captain Biom can uh, save the world. So I didn't want to miss this opportunity uh, to meet Milind Soman. Milind Soman is one of the first supermodels from India. So when I got to know this is not just a greet and meet event, it was actually a run with Milind Soman. Uh, this event was a promotional event for Pinkathon, which is Millen's event, which is uh, for women's fitness, which is it's a run for breast cancer awareness. So what to do? I hated running all my life, and now for this I have to run because all I wanted was a photo, photo with Millen Soman, which I can flaunt it on social media. So I decided, okay, this will be the first and last run. I'll run for the sake of a photo. I'll finish the run. That will be the last. Okay, done. So the day came, I was on time, I reached Kaban Park, first time, I'm in Bangalore from more than 10 years, uh, I got to know Kaban Park that time, when I first visited. So Milin came, I shook hands with him, I couldn't talk much because he is known to be a ladies man, so all his female followers, they were clicking photos with him, I didn't get a chance to click a photo. The run started, overexcited, fully pumped. I ran the first two kilometers pretty fast. Third kilometer, I got cramps. I was breathless. I realized I am not able to make it. And uh, everybody, all the other runners, they passed me. And I saw a few women who are in the early 40s or 50s. They were running so effortlessly. They were all cool. And here I am, I couldn't even finish more than three kilometers. I panicked. And then uh, maybe the male ego in me pushed me. I realized I have to get a pick because I've told all my friends that I'm going to meet Milin Soman, the Milin Soman. And if I don't have a pick with him, nobody's going to believe me. So I walked, I walked most of the distance. It was just a five kilometer run, which I couldn't finish. So I walked most of the distance and I, maybe I finished last, I don't remember. But I got a pick with him. I was happy. But more than the pick, something else grabbed my attention. That was a speech he gave. He, uh, the audience was women, mostly he was addressing the women. But the talk where he said, our aim in life should be born to live and not born to die. So for me, uh, those words, uh, it kept ringing uh, my, in my mind when I came back home. 
because fitness for me all these years was going to gym. I was one such fool who went to gym just to impress girls. Is there anyone who went to gym like that? So for me was uh, going to gym, I just focused on biceps because that was the only body part which you can show off in the college. Half sleeve, rolled up sleeves. So that go I got a call uh, about my fitness. I'm not fit. I couldn't even run two kilometers. So next day, I ran. I, and there was no pressure to get a photo with Milin Soman. So it was smooth. I ran and I, I loved it. So I can proudly say my running journey started with Pinkathon, a women's run. Being a male, my running started with a women's event. So next few days I ran, I continued running and uh, I developed a, a, a liking towards running. So I wanted to know more about running. So if you want to know more about running, what you'll do? More about anything, we'll Google. I googled and I got to know, I got, to, I got a lot of suggestions. So uh, one such suggestion was a book called Born to Run. Anyone read it? Any runners here? Okay, so the book is known to be a Bible of barefoot runners. It is by Christopher McDougall. It's, uh, it's about the story of Tarahumara tribe in Mexico. They are known as the fastest runners on earth. So inspired by that book, I went on to try barefoot running next day. I ran barefoot and the feeling was entirely different. So normally before I ran with shoes, I had some sort of soreness on my feet. So when I ran barefoot, it was so liberating. We call it as earth kiss when we touch the ground, the barefoot runner's term. So I realized I'm falling in love with running. And also it took me back to my childhood, where as a kid, we all used to run and walk barefoot. So uh, there I started a liking and I realized I'm falling in love with running. So I started taking part in runs, a lot of 10 kilometer runs. Then I did a few 21 kilometers. So I was confident enough I can run. I was a good runner, I felt. And then I, I thought I'm ready for a big game, which is a marathon. Do you know what is the marathon distance is? Sorry. 42.195 kilometers. So normally, uh, nowadays people uh, start telling 3 kilometer marathon, 5 kilometer marathon, 10 kilometer marathon. All these are just runs. A marathon, a full marathon or a marathon is 42.195 kilometers. So thinking I'm um, comfortable with 10K and 21, I thought I can do 42 also. Because 21 I can do in tw two hours, 42 I can basically I can do in four hours, which I was where I was wrong. Because marathon starts after 30th kilometer. All these years I was just clocking some distances. I didn't knew, I didn't have any mentor. I was not following any uh, particular training program. I don't do stretches. I don't do any strength training, no cross training. So on the race day, uh, up to 21 kilometers, it was smooth for me. 24th kilometer, I started struggling. 24th to 30th, I somehow dragged myself. But then, all the body parts, my calves, my thighs, my hamstrings, my back, shoulder, every body part went on for a strike. I couldn't move. And then I saw a lot of, uh, there were a few runners behind me. They were, a uh, few of them were getting into the medical aid vehicle, quitting. So they didn't, they didn't want to finish the run. Even I wanted to get into the vehicle because the weather was hot and the vehicle was air conditioned. So there I met a, a co-runner. I met him uh, for, for the first time. So he was also cramped, in fact, uh, badly cramped than me. And he had trained properly for this run. So he said, let's not quit. Let's talk, walk and finish the run. Let's walk and finish the run. So we decided to walk. So from 31st kilometer to 32nd kilometer, we walked a lot. I felt we walked more than 15 minutes. So when we saw the 32nd kilometer, it was so demotivating that only one kilometer we finished because we were walking. So like that, we finished uh, up to uh, 40 kilometers. We took almost two hours for that. To finish eight kilometers, we took two hours. So when we saw the 40th kilometer marker, both of, both of us looked at each other. I don't know from where the dead and drained body got some energy, we both ran. We ran and there were people who finished earlier. 
they were coming back, they cheered us. And the stadium was almost empty. And when we saw the last 100 meters, we both ran like Usain Bolt, like 100 meter sprinters. We, wo we, wo we walked a lot and last 100 meters we ran, we sprinted. And I finished last and my friend finished second last. For the first time in my life, I felt proud being last. That was one lesson I learned from running marathon. That whatever be the situation, you should never give up. So from marathon, I knew about my body, what it can be. So I'm not a fast runner, but I can run for long hours. I can run, run for long duration. I can run for hours. So then that's when I switched to ultra marathon. Ultra marathon is a run which is more than any, any distance more than 42 kilometers. It can be 50, 75, 80, 100, 160, any distance. So, so I started doing ultra marathons. I started doing 50, 75, 80. We get a lot of life lessons from ultra marathons. So most of the time, if you're running a 10 kilometer, you will be running with a crowd. There will be a lot of people running along with you. If you're running a 21 or 42, there will be few people running along with you. But if you're running an ultra marathon, most of the distances, you'll be running alone. So for me, it was a meditation or a me time because I am very restless otherwise. So I sometimes talk to my legs. Sometimes I abuse them if they are tired. I have to tell them to walk, run, so that we both finish. So ultra marathon, it's, it's more, you get a lot of life lessons from it because it teaches you, you will be thinking a lot. Your body will be tired. Your mind has to motivate. Because normally a human being, any human being, an average human being can run 30 or 40, 30 kilometers. More than that, a normal human being cannot run. So, is, so where the, your body will be tired, your mind has to keep motivating. You have to talk to yourself, you have to do some or the other thing. You sometimes, I have seen some people singing. So that's when, uh, that's how uh, I ran uh, ultras and now my affair with running is in a full-fledged romance. So there, uh, 2015 I did my first intercity run, which was from Bangalore to Mysore. Uh, so we run, we decided to run on 30th December and finish the run on 31st. 30th and 31st, it's a two-day run, 140 plus kilometers. Uh, on the second day, somewhere 10 kilometers away from Mysore, around evening 5 p.m., I was running. Uh, we were around six uh, runners, so I was, uh, all were uh, two, three kilometers apart. So an auto guy, he stopped beside me and he asked, boss, do you want lift? You seem to be very tired. I was tired, my clothes were full of sweat and I was running barefoot. He thought, some poor guy, he don't have even <laughs> money to spend uh, on shoes. So when I said I'm coming from Bangalore, he didn't, he, he got puzzled. He said, are you kidding me? No, I said, we are coming from Bangalore. Uh, it's a two day run. We are running for breast cancer awareness. So, uh, and uh, I had to show him my other runners because he didn't believe me initially. With a beard guy, barefoot, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, beard guys are considered to be mad. <laughs> so <laughs> he didn't believe, but when he saw other runners, he said, if you people can run for a cause from Bangalore to Mysore on a New Year Eve, where other people are celebrating, why not me? And he promised me he'll take care of his health, also his family members. He took my number, he added me on Facebook, he still comments on my Facebook pics whenever I post run pics. So at the same time, a lot of friends, my friends, they keep asking, why do you run? Do you get paid to run? Or did you win any run? No, I didn't win any race. Because uh, there are a lot of Africans, there are Indian runners. So I'm not a winner, I never won any race. And people ask, why, if you know you will not win, why did you participate? Because I, when I say proudly that I came thousand among 10,000 runners, they say, yo, you're thousand. There are 999 runners better than you. So that's what the normal people think. So what I say is, the competition is, it's against it's your, your competition is the person in front of you, not you guys, when you look into the mirror. So for me, each run is an experience. I meet a lot of inspiring people, a lot of places, different places. I, I go, I have ran all over India, different terrain, different weather. So each one is an experience to better myself. Sometimes I perform better, sometimes I not. So it, it doesn't matter for me. So when I look back, I have no idea what effect running would have on me. 
I met a lot of wonderful, inspiring people. I, uh, I made friends with good runners. Then uh, during Pinkathon, I meet thousands of women. Each, each, woman, each woman is a hope. She is, she's an inspiration for me. They, have, they fight with something else in life to run. They have some other stories to sell, tell. So, so that's what the running made. Running had completely changed me. From a person who wanted to look good, uh, and it became feel good. I am not worried about tan. Earlier I was worried about tan. I don't care about tan. So, all these things, uh, it's, uh, it gets you out of your comfort zone. You feel, uh, I, never, I never dreamed of doing a five kilometer. And now I'm doing, I've done uh, five intercity runs. Uh, last December, I ran in Sri Lanka, Colombo to Navatuna. It's 125 kilometers on New Year. So every New Year, we celebrate by running from one city to a different city. So I have an advice for you guys. I will not tell you to take up running, it's a personal choice. But you have to take part in a marathon or a 10 kilometer run just for the sake of experiencing it. It's entirely different from the school or sports meet which you, have, you might have participated, where you race to win. So marathon here, you are racing against yourself to, to be a better person. And it can also, you will get medal, every finisher get a medal, you know that? not just the winner. And you get cheered by people who don't, you don't even know. So for me, running had changed me a lot. Thank you.